All right, we are back again with another video. Welcome back to the channel. I am your girl, Christina Lynn, and we are back once again. And today we're gonna make a small gumbo. And here are the ingredients here. I have chicken thighs, kibashi sausages, and some Argentine red shrimp. And here are all the spices that we're gonna use. I have paprika, pepper, onion powder, I have nor chicken base, gumbo filet. I have cavenders, Greek seasoning, garlic powder, and bell pepper. I'm not gonna put onions in there because I prefer to just use the onion powder in it. It works a little bit better for me. And we also have some success ball in a rice. Did I say a ball in a rice? Ball in a bag, <laughs> white rice. I'm not the best rice cooker. I'm gonna do either do the ball in the bag or I'll do a rice cooker. Y'all let me know, I can never get the consistency proper. I can never get the right consistency for some reason with rice. And I have tried. I've heard two cups of water, one cup of rice. My sister taught me that. And then I have also heard three cups of water, two cups of rice. Either way, it comes out gummy. So let's just boil it in a bag and call it a day, honey. Okay, so let's get started. We'll go ahead and cook. We're gonna cook the chicken first. I'm gonna start boiling that and I have chicken thighs. So you can, another way that you can do this, you can do the rotisserie chicken that's already cooked. It cuts out a lot of the time of having to boil the chicken, but today we're gonna boil it. But yeah, let's get started, y'all. Okay, y'all. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is our water. I'm gonna pour. This water so that we can start cooking our chicken. So this is the first step. A little bit of water. And I like to bring that to a ball first before we start adding our chicken. dropping it in the hot water, just like so. Remember I was telling y'all I prefer to just do onion powder instead of cutting up actual onions. It works a little bit better for me. A little bit of pepper in there. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Cavender's Greek seasoning. That's gonna season our chicken. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of the brown gravy as well. So not too much, just a little bit. And then, like I said, I'm going to let that cook probably about an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half. And then we're going to come in and put the rest of our ingredients in there. I 
I'm going to chop up the bell pepper. We're going to put that in. And we're going to let it cook. We're going to chop up the bell pepper real quick. And put that in the pot. And we're going to let that cook for a little bit. And then I'm going to show y'all, as a matter of fact, you can probably see it. Here is the new cutting board that I got. If y'all had a chance to watch the last video, this one came in a three pack. This is the smallest one. It has the stoppers at the bottom of it, so it does not move once you place it on the counter, which makes it so much easier for cutting. That one I had from Ikea, which I love, but it just moves a lot. So you got three different sizes. And I found that one at Ross, actually. This is the second size up here. And then this one is the third size up. This is the biggest one. But I like the little one because it's little and cute. This is the biggest one here. So we're going to use the little one for today's project. And we're going to chop up this bell pepper. And we're going to let this chicken cook. So we can get to eat. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Well, why Okay. We're back. So this is how we're cooking. As you can see, the bell peppers have pretty much uh, cooked down. And that's how they look. So I'm, gonna I'm actually getting ready to cut up our bell peppers. I'm sorry, not our bell peppers. But our sausages and add our shrimp. 
we're going to use kibashi sausages today. And I'm not really sure how many I'll use. Maybe half of this pack. I found this pack at Sam's. It's one of the larger packs. It's two pounds. So you get a lot of sausages in here. I know carries a smaller pack. You usually get about four of those, maybe six at the most. So this pack is a lot larger and you get more in there. So that gives us, and if we need to do more, we will. I'm gonna rinse these off and get them chopped up. Probably gonna cut them that way. Sometimes I actually go down the middle here and cut them that way. You gotta see me cutting this up. I'm going to probably add at least two more sausages in here, maybe three. Okay, yeah, let's add about two more sauces in there. Get those rinsed off. It is 523, so these chicken thighs have been cooking for at least an hour all together. Now we're going to add our Argentine red shrimp. This pack, I found this one at Sam's as well. We're just going to add these in. I'm going to rinse them off and we're going to add those in also. Huh? I'm probably going to have to add a little bit more water in here as well. Josh was eating. And at the day he ate, like that, he was trying to, he ate the whole thing in the cow. Okay, no, Joshua, you know you don't eat. Oh, it's right there, boy. And you can't right there. That means it's too hot. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's add in the chicken thighs. Okay, let's add in the chicken thighs. Okay guys, so here's the shrimp, rinsed off. I'm gonna put the whole bag in there. So this is what they look like. They're already peeled in the vein. I have rinsed them off, cleaned them, and I'm just gonna drop them in there like that. I think this pack contains about maybe three pounds of shrimp. Uh, no, my fault, two pounds. 
So we're gonna just drop these in here and let them continue to cook. We're gonna put the top on it. I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning in there. Drop those in there like that. At this point, we're gonna add our gravy in. So I have two packs of this. I'm gonna start off with one and mix it in. I don't put it directly in there. I usually mix it up in a bowl first or a cup and then start to mix it. We're probably gonna to have to put a little bit more water in there. Get those shrimp down in there so they can cook. Get on down now. Get on down now. Let's grab a measure. We're going to cut our fire up just a little bit. So I have a measuring cup here. I'm going to use this. I'm going to put, we'll start off with one pack first. Add a little bit of water. Again, you can do however you want if you want to just put your whole pack in there. I kind of like to put mine in a cup first and mix it up before I put it in there. It just helps it break down a little bit easier to me. We're going to add one more pack. And this is going to help your gravy become a little bit thicker. It's going to create a thicker roux. Now, depending on how you make your gumbo, now keep in mind, you could also do the Louisiana style where you do a homemade roux, but in our case, we don't have that kind of time trying to throw on a quick meal, but um, you can also do the homemade roux, which you would start off with oil and flour. Y'all comment below, do y'all know about that kind of homemade roux? And then what happens is, the longer that it cooks, your roux begins to get a little bit darker. And the darker it gets, the more flavors in there. And you mix your onions and garlic, your trio. So that's another way you could do it also. But we're going to do it the easy way today. So once you have that mixed in, very simple. Go ahead and pour it in. My mom actually taught me how to do it that way. And let's just start stirring. For this video, I'm gonna do the Zatarans. I have different kinds as a matter of fact. We're gonna do a little bit of this one. I also have Text Joy, depending on which kind you like. Both of them are good. I prefer the Zatarans a little bit better, but you can use any one. Whichever one you like. A little pepper in there. And then we're gonna start mixing. And then I'm gonna put the rice on. So like I said, let's get the rest of the water in there. If you don't know how to make rice, it's all good. One day I'm gonna get the rice. I just don't know when. 
but one day I'm gonna get it. So until then, we have Success Rice Ball in a Bag. Bam, this is all you need. Makes the perfect rice, the perfect consistency every time. Now this one has a pack of, four, it's four bags in here. So we're gonna make, we're gonna make three bags. selection sea salt you can find this at Kroger put a little bit of that in there just to give it a little bit of flavor let that cook down for about 15 minutes so guys here is our finished product this is what it's looking like chicken is starting to fall off the bone literally as you can see and we are done so let's go ahead and get it plated or bowled up rather. Okay guys, can y'all see the rice? This is the ball in the bag rice. Let's go ahead and start making the bowl. This rice is you just simply cut the bag open and pour. Very simple. We're going to put in. Sausages in there. Noah, and there you have it, guys. 